let's see. Not only hit the yellow, but can you get it safe? Oh, no miss. Might not matter, because yep, both I'll... players from here need yellow to blue. Oh, I miss. Of course, it's difficult to know how much practice the players have had coming into this tournament. But that pot's just a little bit off. But he is playing positive, aggressive snooker. That's the right way to play. Just put them on the floor, Ronnie. Yeah. I'll just leave you there now if you want. I just seen why Chris Wakelin was giggling now. Ronnie took out the whole rest stand. There we go. Can't let me, unfortunately. I'm not allowed <laughs> to touch anything. So. <laughs> oh, dear. I've actually seen this happen a couple of times during the week with other players. Well, Ronnie's done a quick repair job. 20. Well, it's great to see Snooker back on Eurosport. It's great to see O'Sullivan back on the Snooker table on Eurosport. And he's made a pretty match. impressive return to action. He's won in barely an hour. Sullivan, of course, class player, and that's class pot. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. <laughs> well, I think he's asking that referee any ideas, but not allowed to tell him that. <laughs> this could take a while to work out. <laughs> How has he threaded the cue ball through there? <laughs> That's unbelievable. He could play that another nine times and not do that. I just see a smile on Ronnie's face as well. That's it. <laughs> yeah, is the, is the door closed in the com box? Yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. Steady, Rob. Steady. No, no, quick, no. quick. <laughs> you got it. Well, everyone's excited Thank to be you. back at the snooker, clearly. <laughs> and disaster was averted there. Well, Rob Spencer, the referee, was uh, in the thick of the action in that last frame here. He's getting the yellow out and then just losing control of it. Didn't panic. Nowhere near the reds and just got it in the end. Yeah, I, I guess Murphy could have stopped. Thank you. 
20. Well, I think Jan Verhaas is getting a bit tired here. The black's in the pocket, Jan. You've got to take it out, otherwise we'll be here all night. As I always say, the referee never gets a moment's peace. He's got to concentrate 110%. He's part of the black and he's, he's pointed to the referee. Look, the black's in the pocket. Pick it up, Jan. Oh, mit sämtlichen Verlängerungen, die es gibt, kommt er da kaum dran. Muss jetzt ja aber die ganzen 3,66 Meter drüber reichen. Und noch eine Verlängerung auf der Verlängerung. Also das habe ich noch nie gesehen, dass jemand so spielt. Aber ist sicherlich, dass er selbst in einem solchen Moment noch einen Scherz machen kann. Jetzt aufpassen, gleich räumt er dann noch einen Scheinwerfer ab. Is that in the pocket? Yes. Foul four. Jimmy White. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet, please. Is that in the pocket? Yes. Foul four. No? <laughs> yeah, it's not like golf. You don't get penalised for an air shot. No? <laughs> it's such a big bonus, isn't it? Being able to play shots left handed. He might be snooker here. He might be snooker. Just a second, Barry. Thank you. Jens had his work cut out. 89. Lost count of the times Jens had to put a ball as close to its own spot as possible. Under a bit of pressure there. <laughs> well. He's having a little bit of fun with the referee there. You can see the referee swaying. He was ready to kind of be off his marks like a sprinter. Nice time. And he looked up and kind of uh, stopped him in his tracks. 96. Yeah, he plays his one-handed shot here, which I don't suppose you can blame it on the one-handed shot. I still don't really understand why he does that. I suppose it's just because he can do it. Um, does but anybody it, else do that? No. Not people with, with two arms available to them, no. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, he, he goes on to win the frame. <laughs> 
But go, going back to the table, it's amazing because when we were amateurs playing proms, you'd be on a different table every match, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. And all of a, yeah. all of a sudden, you get one bad bounce and yeah, you complain. Sometimes you've got a light white, you've got 15 different shades of red ball as well on some tables, haven't you? You know, like they're not all the same. And, um, you know, the way this frame goes here, it's another frame. This actually just creeps itself in, you know. And again, it was a frame that it looked like it was going to go in favour of Mark Williams and. This was a screw. He play, actually played another shot like this earlier on, didn't he? A deep screw up and down the table. It's a shot that's probably better than most, maybe not Judd Trump, but most players in the game. Uh, there was periods in that match, particularly that second frame, they didn't put a ball for 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, have they forgotten how to play? <laughs> well, I, I'm going to answer that because clearly you two have, have lost it. Yeah, I mean, you, you, it's, a, it's a scrappy match to say. Also, if they're, if they're battling the table, as, as we've said, and you get matches like this, you know, hopefully the, the, the second half is a lot better. Who is going to wrestle this match then? Because uh, the, placing the semi final at stake, we've got effectively a best of seven frames match now, Neil. I, I, I think it's going to go all the way. Mm. Just stop doing this. <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> Enough, right. Um, I think if it, if, it, if it keeps on this manner, I think Mark Williams is still going to win for me. Let's find out. Other side of the break. <laughs>